Hi guys, just another quick update. There was supposed to be a part two video of me fitting my um, Fiamma F45S awning, but the weather's been that hot. I literally didn't really have time to film it. I just got the other brackets on um, when it was cool the other night and literally plonked the awning on this morning and bolted it all in place. As you can see, the awning is fixed on with three brackets, one at the back, one in the middle and one near the front. Um, obviously you can see the, uh, the roof rack mechanism that I've fitted on myself. Uh, I'll do another video about that and explain all that later. But that's basically 30-30 um, extrusion fitted to um, fuel 30-31 um, foot pads and all bolted up. But I say, I'll do another video explaining that later on. So, as you can see from this side, there's the awning fixed to the three brackets. The awning literally drops onto the top of the, uh, the bracket and it clips in beyond the awning. Just wait for that car to go past. Um, and then you open the awning up, drop the legs down, hold it in place. Um, and to secure it, you can either drill through, put a self tapping screw through the uh, aluminium into the bracket at the back. Well, what I did, I took the awning off and marked where the, uh, the existing bolt holes were in the brackets. Right, so what I did, I uh, drilled through the back of the awning. Um, steadily, just with a, a 6.5mm drill. Uh, and put two bolts from inside the awning to, into the bracket. There's like a, a little rivet nut in the bracket to bolt in place. The uh, the third nut on the uh, rear bracket, um, the way it was lined up, it was lined up with the uh, the awning mechanism for the the wind out attachment. So I couldn't actually get to the actual nut. So uh, I opened the awning up a little bit more, drilled a little pilot hole and put a self-tapping screw in there just to hold it all in place so the awning's held on by the two bolts and then the uh, the one self-tapper at the back obviously it's not going to go anywhere also when actually putting the awning in place um, don't try to do it on your own you might be able to lift it on your own but actually getting up a ladder getting it all in place and dropping it into position it is I won't say two man but it is a two person job um, just to make sure it's it's in the right position um, also make sure you've actually got the uh, the three brackets in place because there is a little bit of uh, flex in the awning casing as you're uh, lifting it so you could end up with uh, the front bracket and the back bracket in place but the middle bracket um, it could miss so the easiest way I've found to uh, put it in place is um, lift the awning up and put it directly over the top sideways on and then slide it down into position anyway sorry for not actually um, doing any little clips of what I did but I say the heat, it was just ridiculous. It's been um, nearly 32 degrees outside today. And uh, although my van is in a little bit of shade, once you get up the ladder to a roof height, uh, you're literally in full sunlight. So I was li literally doing just a little bit at a time. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, just uh, drop them in the comments and uh, I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. Also about that uh, little roof rack system that you saw, um, I won't be putting a video up showing uh, 
how I did it and what I actually used. So, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up if you want to subscribe. By all means, do so. And uh, I'll catch you all again. Cheers. Bye for now.